Yo, what it is? This your homie, the last time himself. Thank you for pressing play. And today, I'm going to be talking about recognizing a spiritual ego. A sp person with a lot of spiritual ego. These are the people that read too many damn books, went to all the fucking lectures and um, the fairs and shit. They watched all the videos about spirituality, you know, and they feel like they know more than you because they read a couple of things, saw a couple of things, and not knowing that it's not what you know, it's how you know. That's what spirituality is about. It's about a person's path. And But these people don't see it like that. They think of it in an intelligent way instead of from the heart. You know what I'm saying? And they judge you because you don't do the things they do. They judge you because you don't eat the way they do. They judge you because you don't dress the way they do. You know what I mean? What kind of shit is that? How is your spirituality more bigger than mine? It's not. My spirituality is not bigger than yours. You know what I mean? And it's so hard to have a conversation with them because everything always leads to spirituality or something don't even pertain to any of that thing. You know, and like, yo, let's go play basketball. Oh, but I will, but, but do my... Philly want to go play basketball. Dude, shut the fuck up, but let's go play basketball. <laughs> you know? And and they always got this thing that they want to be masterful and more more powerful. You know what I'm saying? They and they always tell you like how long they've been doing things like I know a couple people, I you know what I'm saying, I don't I'm not naming any names, I'll point the fingers, but they were like, oh, I've been a psychic medium ever since I was seven years old. Okay, ain't good for you. <laughs> and, you know, and they be like, like, I'm so proud. I know everything. I've been studying this for years. I read all the books. I know more. You don't know anything. Yeah, you know things, but you don't know things. How do you know it? Do you feel it? Have you meditated on it? You know what I'm saying? And that's another damn thing. The meditation... Shut the fuck up about how many times you meditate a day. If you meditate, keep it to yourself. I don't want to keep seeing on Facebook how many times you meditate a day. I don't want to see Instagram, you always in a pose meditating. It's cool every once in a while, but every day, all damn day long. Come on, bruh. Chill out. <laughs> they, don't, don't, they don't speak for themselves. They speak from quotes from, from different authors, from different teachers, from different professors, things they read in books. And that's not right. That's not right to be a human being as being spirituality. Spirituality is about being you, having full of heart, being of service to your fellow man. That's spirituality, connected to the universe. Because these people disconnect themselves from the universe by thinking that they're better than the creator and out of God. Because that's basically what they're saying. You know what I'm saying? They're saying that they don't really need a master. They don't really need a guru or something. We don't necessarily need to have a master. We need to have somebody you can, who can just put you back in your place and take away your ego. I'm not talking about a false guru who won't want your money. I'm talking about somebody who really cares about you. That's what you need. Everybody needs one. Somebody or a couple people. I, I got one. You know what I'm saying? I got a couple of them that people that always put me in check every once in a while. You know what I'm saying? Like, when I start going off, there's like, oh, no, Isaiah, break it down a little bit. Come on, sons, break it down. I'm like, okay, cool. And they don't think they need one. They think they are better than people who have done this before them, for longer than them, or know more than them, I understand more than them. You know what I'm saying? And they tell you that Eating, eating the food that you eat, you know what I'm saying, that you're not really spiritual because you eat meat. That's not true. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You, you have a choice. Spirituality is a choice. You have a choice you want to eat meat. I stopped eating fur meat, you know what I'm saying, basically like the, <coughs> excuse me, the meat, the animals that's on, um, you know what I'm saying, that's on the ground. I eat fish now. I stopped because it's my choice. You know what I'm saying? I eat fish. I'm most, but I would still eat meat socially. I'm a social meat eater. You know what I'm saying? Like a social drinker. I'm a social meat. If I'm out about somebody cooking a lot of meat, I'm going to be a good guest and eat. But these people know 
they will go to a cookout. Uh, where's your vegetarian selection? <laughs> this is not very spiritual for me. It's my chakra is out of balance because of me. Oh, no, I cannot be here. Do have a good time. There's enough shit that we open up ourselves, awaken ourselves to this. And now we got to stress about what we're eating, stress about what we know, stress about what we're wearing, stress about where we're going. No, no, life is not like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Live it. Live it with your heart, not live it with your mind. Like I said, it's not what you know, it's how you know. You know what I'm saying? And keep yourself grounded and humble at all times. You're not better than this person. It's because you meditate four or five times a day. You're not better than me. You're not. You got your own path. I got my own path. I chose mine. You chose yours. That's it. That's all it's about. So, come out of that spiritual ego. Bring yourself down. You know what I'm saying? Don't think it's because you've been doing something for so long that you're better than somebody else. Even the greatest masters or the greatest gurus, they will tell you. So, you feel me? <laughs> so I'm the last son himself. Thank you for watching. And until next time, peace.